every chapter of your book ends with a segment about finding the right balance. Why? For every force that we engage in, uh, and, and, and through, the, through the book we talk about trust, for example, where we need to find our balance. So we talked about the importance of trust. Trust is essential for effective leadership, for effective organizations. And yet if we're too trusting, that's what sets up the opportunity for exploitation. Mm. So all of the scams, uh, people exploit us when we're too trusting. So there's a balance to that. We're talking about social comparisons. So we engage in these comparisons. We constantly engage in these comparisons, but we can shift ourselves so we find the right balance so that we're motivated by our comparisons without being demotivated or feeling really frustrated and discontent. So we can find our balance and sometimes it involves shifting our focus so we compare ourselves with different people or we figure out a way to constructively engage in comparisons so we're motivated to work harder and we can find our balance in a way that helps us navigate these social relationships. We're all intertwined in so many relationships we need to navigate that balance in a way that, that helps us rather than uh, hurts us. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea. And so across the book from power, hierarchy, comparisons, trust, deception, we talk about gender differences and, and more. Across everything, we need to really find our balance.